Hi, I'm Elsbeth from Custom Strength, and I'm going to show you a warm up that we like to use for Ultimate, but it's actually great for any field sport, soccer, football, rugby, lacrosse. I'm going to show you eight movements, and by the end of that, you should be ready to play. First exercise I'm going to show you is a glute bridge. So for this one, we're going to get down the ground, arms out, palms up. So you're going to bring one knee up, push to the heel, hips up, hold for a couple seconds, lightly touch back down, and right away again. Really make sure that you're pushing through your heel and not your toes. Five times one side, and then five on the other. You're going to move into a quadruped rotation. Quadruped just means all fours. So you can put one hand on the back of your head, reach your elbow up towards the sky, and then you're going to reach across. Five times each side. And I'll just show you from the other side as well. Reach up and across there. Last thing we're going to do on the ground is a calf stretch. So straight leg, one foot on the other, ankle, shoulders down, and a nice slow raise and lower. Again, four, five times on one side, then five on the other. Okay, and the next stretches we're going to do are in standing position. The first one is going to be a standing hip flexor stretch. You want to get a nice long position. Before you start the stretch, you're going to tuck your, tuck your pelvis under or go into a posterior tilt. Think about if you had a tail that you're tucking your tail in or pulling your ribs down towards your pelvis. Once you're in that position, then you're going to lower yourself slightly Hold for a couple of seconds and then back. You should feel this primarily right here. As with the other ones, you're going to do it five times one side and then switch five times the other. I'll show it to you from the side. The pelvis is tucked under. Think about the front of your rib cage and the pelvis being stuck together. And then you're just going to lower yourself down slowly and back up. You should feel a nice stretch in through here. The next thing we're going to do is stretch our quads. So you're going to grab your foot, pull your heel towards your butt. Just hold it for a second, switch legs. And just, you should feel a nice stretch in your quad as you do so. Um, you can do that five times each side. If you find your balance is off, pick a spot on the floor to, or on the ground to look at, that usually can help. And as you do it more, your balance should improve. This next one is an inverted hamstring stretch also known as a single leg Romanian deadlift. Stand on one leg, knee slightly bent, reach your hands forward and reach your foot behind. Hold for about a second, try to make your body as long as you can. Hip square, come back up. Just gonna show you from the front view. And again, five times on one side, five times on the other. Just like this. Second last one we're gonna do is called a world's greatest stretch. And you'll see why in a second, it really covers a lot. You're going to take a big, huge step, one hand on the ground, reach your elbow towards your instep. This knee should stay, should stay off the ground. Hold it for a second and then one hand on the outside, shift your weight back, pull your toes up, and then switch. I'll show you again from the side, elbow to your instep, hold for a second, hand at your side, shift back, pull your toes up. Just a little note. This, your knee here does not have to be straight at this point. If it is, great. If it's not, that's just fine. It's going to be a reflection of how flexible you are. The last thing we're going to do is a lunge matrix. So you're going to stand, stand in place. You're going to do a big lunge step forward and then back. Now you're going to go out 45 degrees, 90 degrees, another 45, straight back cross body and then same thing with the other leg even though if you're throwing frisbees for instance you'll find that you you usually pivot with one side but just physiologically it's usually a good idea to to get everything warmed up and when you're when it comes time to doing things like cutting having uh, warmed up these your hips this way will be very helpful so that was one time through on each side. You'll do a second one on each side. 
So that's it. So I feel pretty warmed up. I suspect you will by the time you get to this stage. Now you're ready to enjoy your game.